While many professional athletes struggle to find success off the field once their playing career ends, that is not the case for one of the all-time greats to come out of West Michigan. All we can say is Mike Lissette is well-fed coming home from this story. So first graders, make sure you eat all the food. The kids at St. Paul the Apostle couldn't help but notice some major changes when they lined up for lunch back on the first day of school. And they're seeing things on the menu like beef bulgogi and tiki masala. Okay, but that wasn't the biggest thing. I was confused because our lunch lady turned into a six foot tall guy who used to play in the NFL. Their eyes weren't deceiving them. That really was the recently retired veteran offensive tackle Jared Valdir serving food behind the counter. The big question everyone had was, why? I was looking for something to do uh, time-wise, and you know, the vacancy here, uh, figured I'd, I'd, I'd give it a go. Seeing how he gets to be in the same school that his own kids attend, the job has a few perks. But at $15 an hour, it is a far cry from the millions he made playing football. Still, the former offensive tackle says there are some similarities. Yeah, I think, you know, you have your day-to-day -day goals. Except now, game day is every weekday. And it all starts at a quarter to eight each morning. I go through the prep process. First group starts at 11. We have three groups. Oh, you guys are welcome. To feed 250 kids the right way, the 34-year-old knew he had to change the old school kitchen playbook. To where we're able to kind of, you know, break, uh, you know, the, the traditional route of, of school food that, you know, looks like uh, just a, a hunk of frozen corn and a big old rectangular piece of pizza. Good thing he's had a passion for cooking ever since his playing days. They're in a, in a growth state right now where uh, you know they need to consume a lot of food, a lot of calories, a lot of good quality calories. Now Jared talks the talk. He says all the right things, but what it comes down to is whether or not the food tastes good. And I'm gonna find out right now. And that is good. You know, every time to time, you'll get a kid coming through the line and be like, did you really play in the NFL? I think they care about uh, good food. The official replay confirms. I don't know where he comes up with all this stuff, but it's amazing. It's time for second. All these lunches are the best. Mike Lissette, 13 on your side sports.